Lightweight directory services is one part of Active Directory that will absolutely positively be on the exam and there's some things you need to understand about this and what I want to do is help you get your head around it and then point you to some resources on digging into it a little deeper. But Lightweight Directory Services provides Active Directory support for applications. What happened was, uh, let me draw a little diagram here. Uh, back around the Windows 2000 place, back in the early 2000s, Microsoft got the idea that previously, for example, like in Exchange, you had an Exchange Directory service called the DS Store, and then you had Network Directory, uh, which back then was the NTLM. This was before Active Directory. Now the problem is, is you had all of your email users in one directory store, and then you had your network users in another store. And it was tough to keep these two replicated and keep them identical and maintain everything between them. Okay, so the idea became then when Active Directory came out, it's like, you know what? We already have Active Directory out here. We have this database with all the users and all of their information in it. Why don't we just make it a little bit larger when we install Exchange and put any kind of Exchange specific stuff in that portion of Active Directory and then every time somebody needs to for example know where a user's mailbox what their mailbox name is where that mailbox is homed what server it's on we can just check Active Directory because with Active Directory if we have servers all over the network and forgive the crude drawings but I'm just trying to make a point here then the Active Directory gets automatically replicated to all the servers in the network and so as users from all over the organization uh, go out and try to send email it can easily resolve where everybody's email boxes are and so forth so the bottom line is, is since Active Directory is a database it's being replicated around everywhere why not put information in it that everybody needs all over the network that way they don't have to traverse the entire network to get back to one location that created an issue where everybody said wow this is a really cool idea why don't we just do this everywhere here's the real problem with that though in Exchange, when you first load Active Directory, just in a Windows Server environment, you have a certain number of objects that are created in Active Directory. And when you want to load Exchange, and Exchange is going to use Active Directory, it has to go out there and add some more information or some more placeholders to Active Directory. And this is called extending the Active Directory schema. Well, the problem is, is those extensions cannot be removed, and so your Active Directory database is getting larger and larger and larger. Theoretically, it's getting slower, it's taking more time to replicate around and so forth. Then when third-party and custom app developers started to realize, hey, wait a minute, data that we need to see in Active Directory, we can just query and get it, and then we can even write data up there. Do we really want to keep extending Active Directory for each one of these third-party or custom apps? that may not be here five years from now. In the meantime, we have made our Active Directory so big and cumbersome that it's tough to work with. So Active Directory Lightweight Directory Services satisfies that. Now, when you take the exam, you will hear about the default ports. The default port for LDAP is 389. Now, in the real world, you probably won't use these ports, but just know them for the exam. That when you're using a Lightweight Directory Services, this is making LDAP calls to the directory service and by default it's going to be port 389. Now if you're using Secure Socket Layer to hit LDAP or what's called Secure LDAP you'll be using port 636. But again you're probably going to adjust this in the real world. Now what are the advantages of this? First of all this is kind of weird to get your head around. I can have multiple instances. So basically I can set up an instance of LDS on a server at the far end of the organization and that will reach into Active Directory and be replicated just the information that it needs. It can be hosted on the server where the application is and then all the data that's needed by the application is local. It's not making, making a bunch of calls across the network and querying Active Directory's global catalog servers a lot and all this sort of thing. Now security, this is another real cool thing since LDS sits out there kind of as a subset of Active Directory information, then it can also 
send queries to AD if it needs more information and we can actually put LDS outside of firewalls or at least in perimeter networks and it doesn't expose our entire Active Directory database to the outside world. It just shows that subset of data that can be used and then it'll query into Active Directory when it needs something. And then the next big advantage is departmental support. What if, say, the Human Resources Department has written a big app that they're going to start to use, but no other department's really going to need the kind of Active Directory support for their apps? Well, then we can just set up an LDS instance on Human Resources Department on a server, and they'll be the only ones grabbing that. Now, let me just warn you about something. Active Directory, Lightweight Directory services can be a bit involved. There's, you need to understand how to install and manage it, and it's going to take way too much time. There's probably two or three hours that you could do just on this. So I just want to point you to some resources. Go out to TechNet, technet.microsoft.com, and you see the entire URL right here and just go to this URL and start to read up on Active Directory services. Now you don't have to be a lightweight directory services expert or anything. Just read up on it and if you can't find it there, if that link has changed by the time you see this, just go to technet.microsoft.com and search for lightweight directory services. Just read through all that information. You might want to do a hands-on installation and just play with it. Just make sure you read up on it and you're comfortable with it totally and that it makes sense to you before you take the exam and you should be fine.